Okay, this is our fourth video in our low poly um, scene and basically what we're going to do in this one is we're going to have a go at trying to organize the camera, set the background, look at the light levels. So we've already got our trees, we've got our landscape, we've got our clouds. But if I click on to F12 to look at the render, you can see my camera isn't properly oriented. So I'm going to press escape to get out of that. If I go through a few basic buttons here, if I press on 7 on the number pad, you can see what my world looks like from above. So you can see more or less my clouds are organized above my land area, so they should be possible to capture. I can obviously move around, slide across to see that better. If I press 3, I see it straight on. If I press 0, it shows me the camera view. If I press 0 again, it exits the camera view. So at the moment, my camera isn't really in the right place. So I'm going to right click on the camera, and this sometimes takes me a little bit of organisation, so I'm going to move it across, it's a bit more central. I'm going to press on R to rotate the camera, and I'm going to press on X to lock it, Z, sorry, to lock it onto uh, straight up down. Okay. Now if I press on O again, you can see I'm now looking down from the front, but that's not quite what I want. So I'm now going to move my camera back, so it's further away. And again, press on O, getting slightly better here, but not right. So I'm going to press on R again, I'm going to orientate that so it's a little bit more in line with the plane. And on O, okay, slightly more comfortable with that, pull across, okay, pull it back again, pull it back again, but also up again. Okay, getting there. Okay, a bit more across. Bit more across. I'm using O each time I'm uh, toggling between the camera view and not. Can take that in a bit further. Brought it a bit far out. Okay, happier with that. Okay, what I might do actually, is I might bring it down. Might even bring it further down than that. And this time I'm going to rotate the camera so it's facing a bit more upwards. So I'm going to press R and then I'm going to press on Y, so I can kind of bring the camera around like that. Now press on O again. Okay, I'm happier with that one. Pull that back a little bit. Okay, now if I press on F12 at this point, you can see I'm starting to pick up the shadows. I can start to see what my landform might look like. Press Escape to get out. Press O to get out of the camera view. Pull back a little bit. Okay. Now there's a couple of bits, like some of my clouds at the moment aren't quite in view, so I'm going to right click on the cloud and I'm going to lower that down, so that's now in view. But my light source isn't in the right space, so can you see my light source is presently hiding right in the middle of here, if I click on it here it should show. So I'm going to bring this closer to my lamp and across, and if I press on F12 now, the light looks a bit better, it's kind of greyish though. So one of the things I can do in the lamp here, is I can change this from being a lamp to being a sun. Now if I press on F12 again, you now see it becomes a lot brighter because it's got the light of the sun. I can keep with the white light, or if it was an evening, I could now change the light so it's kind of a more of an orangey color. So I'm going to go across, kind of find an orange, not a peach. Try to anyway. There we go. If I wanted more of an orange, I can also bring that down and up. Okay, now again, if I press on F12, you'll see it, my uh, landscape now picks up this kind of orangey glow. If I want to make that a slightly lighter yellow, then obviously I can do that. Press on F12 again, you should see it picks up a kind of a more slightly yellow one, which I think works slightly better with the low poly landscape we've got. Our next job on this one, with having organised the camera and having organised the light, is to sort the sky out. So to sort the sky out, we're going to go onto the world option here. And in the world, we're going to switch on the sky. And for the purpose of this, I'm going to switch on blend sky. I'm going to give it a horizon color, which is kind of a blue. I'm going to switch on the ambient occlusion. If it, you watch, if I press F12, you see these things are happening live. But at the moment, that's uh, a little bit more than I want. So I'm going to take that down to point 0 0.7. Again, I'm going to press F12, so it updates. I'm also going to switch on the environmental lighting. 
and press F12 on that. But I'm going to bring this down again so that this one is around about 0.5. Press F12 on there. So you can see we start to get some quite nicely lit clouds and landscapes. And then if we want we can switch mist on as well. So we'll press F12 on here, we start to get kind of a misty colour around it. That's obviously up to you. Okay. And then we're going to save this again. So what we now have is a landscape that's rendered, has trees, has clouds, has mountains, and we've got our camera and light source set up properly. What we can next have a go at is having to add some objects in here that move if we want to make this into an animation, but we'll do that in the next video.